Hey everyone, Casey here from Clientric. Today I want to give you a brief overview of how you can update and change uh, user information. This becomes very important as you're administrating the tool just because people will, people's names will change, maybe their emails will change. You'll just have to be able to update this and know how to do it. So in order to do that, you log into the Zoho One admin portal here and you click the admin panel. And once you've done that, you can click on the user section and this will provide a list of users users in the organization. So you can click on whichever one you need to click on. In my case, I only have the one uh, demo user. So I can click on this user one. And you can see this pops up as being all the applications that they are associated with in the uh, in in the application. You can see here is the information of of all, all of their information, their, where the, what time zone they're in, uh, their email, their location, etc. And if you click on this edit button here, this gives you an option to change everything, all their information associated with their account. Now, this is really important because the first name and the last name section is kind of tricky uh, sometimes when it comes to Zoho. Zoho doesn't necessarily like it when there is no last name. So for example, if the last name is left blank, you might see, which I've seen before, uh, in my in my CRM is user one user one where it doubles the first name to also be the last name and that doesn't really look very good so in order to do that we want to just make sure that we have uh, a last name in here so we're gonna say first name is user one last name is test so always make sure you have the first name and the last name filled out so it doesn't look too wonky gender th this allows you to update that or change that as needed needed the work information here you can always change it and adjust uh, we kind of went over that in one of our previous videos um, and other basic information of where they are located phone number etc etc all this information is good to have is it truly necessary not really but it's good to get into a habit of collecting that info if it's something your organization deems is useful so go Going back to this, uh, the other thing we can do is we can manage, manage our, our user email addresses. Now this allows you to add multiple user, or sorry, multiple email addresses per individual. So for example, one individual may have multiple emails. So for example, I could have Casey at clientrick.co, but I could also have Casey.luft at clientrick.co, and I could even at, have help at clientrick.co, all under my 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 user profile. So that allows me to interact as that individual throughout CRM, throughout various different applications. And this is very important because these will need update eventually. So be sure to understand how to go through and update that information. Again, you can change your password, reset your uh, multi-factor authentication if that's what you're using. And in these tabs here, you can see that this person is not associated with any groups. So you can assign them to groups. You can see their account activity. Uh, you can see all where where all the other apps I've been into and, and make sure everything's okay there. You can set security policies for these individuals as well, which becomes very important in larger organizations when you want to restrict access to certain applications and certain locations. And lastly is mail settings. So you can come into here and update any of these settings as you please. And that's basically the gist about how, of, of how you actually uh, update your user settings. So as always, please leave comments down below. We'll be happy to get back to you and always email me at casey at Happy to answer any questions you have. Bye for now.